All right, nice. Okay, let's go. This bag is so f***ing heavy, man. You've been a Wimbley. You good? We're rolling. Right, well, we've made it. We're at North Star, so I'm going to go inside. Leeds Dock is an often unappreciated part of the city of Leeds. It has a very distinctive style which sets it apart from other districts of the city. And just off from the Royal Armoury Square sits North Star, today's destination for our show. So um, North Star is a wholesale coffee roastery primarily. Um, we've also got a coffee academy which we teach um, other coffee professionals from all over the world really put them through their barista exams or their tasting exams um, and recently this summer we just expanded to open our first retail space so we're, we're kind of a coffee business really covering off a lot of the supply chain um, in-house. A cafe with an inspiring goal to strengthen the relationship between the coffee supplier and the buyer. I think being a small family owned independent business means that my job's completely different every day. So that's something that I really enjoy. Um, my, my kind of primary role for the business is as coffee buyer. So um, that's something that uh, allows me to sort of connect with people from all over the world, uh, to go traveling, um, buying coffee on coffee farms and stuff. And then like next day I might be in the cafe sort of serving up that coffee that I last saw on the farm. Um, to customers and sort of getting that feedback from them directly, which is really cool. So I've just ordered a piccolo. I've never heard of it before, so... Well, now I guess we'll find out. First of all, we've got a very unique collaboration between uh, North Star and Noisette Bakehouse, which is a really kind of uh, Leeds-loved business um, setting up four years ago like ourselves. Um, so we really kind of tried as hard as possible to make sure the food and the baked goods offering matched um, that of the coffee. Um, so that's super unique. I think uh, m probably most obviously is the fact that we roast and buy our own coffee as well. So um, we, we literally cover the whole supply chain from farm to cup. Um, so we buy everything uh, in the raw green bean form and then we get it into the roastery here, roast it up and that's what's served. Um, next door, so um, I think just just the fact that in itself is, is a really unique um, setup, and particularly the the way that the space is laid out with the academy, the roastery, and the the coffee shop all in one spot is, is super unique. Thank you very much. Right here we go. I like the heart in the middle. I think that's a really nice addition. That's really strong. Like, wow. I don't know what if it's the coffee beans they've used or the, the method of how they made the coffee, but that is a very, very poignant coffee. My God. I mean, it's got milk in, but unlike the Cortado, which I had uh, last episode, this one is not anywhere near as creamy. It's a lot more like an espresso than uh, the Cortado. I, from what Holtz told me, um, it is a bit like a flat white. I guess this is actually perfect if you want something which is more like an espresso than a flat white, but that really has a, like a tiny bit of cream in it. It's, for example, if you don't want the incredible bitterness of a double espresso, this piccolo right here is a lot more designed for someone who wants that kick, but doesn't want something that completely overwhelms and kind of almost, you know, makes you cough because it's so strong. It's a diluted double espresso, but still very strong. It's still very nice. Yeah, that's strong. My God. Do you want to try some, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> this is stronger than I thought, considering there's milk in it. I mean, if I lived closer by, this would be the perfect place I'd come to every day. I know that a lot of students actually do live around here, as Hull said, and especially if you live, say, near Liberty Dock or any one of the kind of student accommodations nearby, this is the place to come to, in all honesty. We do get a lot of students. We've got a fair few, particularly international students, living around here as residents. So um, 
we're not a million miles from Hall's residence as well, so we do get a lot of students coming in. We've had people sat in here writing their dissertations over the summer, um, which looks painful and torturous and brings back loads of memories of our own. Um, but yeah, we do, um, we're increasingly, particularly during term time, getting more students coming down here. I think primarily we do cater to office workers through the week um, and definitely the residents living around here. But hopefully the offering sort of suited to everyone. North Star is more than just a cafe. It is a compassionate example of how it is possible to make every visitor appreciate the effort that has gone into making every cup. Like many other places we have visited, their coffee and barista courses are making sure the industry is far more accessible than it ever has been. Yep. yep. Next time, we drop by Pump and Grind, a well-known venue among the residents of Hyde Park, which is run by students for students.